if I had 428 apples and you had 964 apples, could they be divided into 12 baskets of apples evenly? Man, that's all applesauce to me. <laughs> the answer is 116 apples in each basket. Wow, you're faster than a tongue in an ice cream factory. <laughs> this is fun. This is fun. <laughs> oh, hi, kids. Hello. Jamie, be careful of that computer. It's not a toy. I know. I'm just using it for my homework. Where's your mother? She's fixing dinner. Oh. Hi, honey. Mm, hi. Mmm. We're having minestrone tonight. Oh, very good. Mind if I have seconds? Help yourself. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Try snuggling up to the minestrone on a cold night. Honey, I'm kidding, you know. I know which side my bed is buttered on. <laughs> Hi, Mr. Lawson. Can Vicky come out and play? Uh, no, she's just a little busy right now, Harriet. Doing what? Oh, things. Uh, yeah, things. How come she stays in the house all the time? Is there something wrong with her? Not at all, Harriet. Mm -hmm. uh, she just doesn't like to go outside much. That's unhealthy. Give me plenty of fresh air and exercise. Well, that's so true, Harriet, and that's why I want you to breathe very deeply while you jog back home. <laughs> My dad thinks you're working on some secret stuff. Because you've got all that electronic junk in your house. Secret stuff? <laughs> that's funny. Is that funny, Joni? That's funny. <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> Goodbye, Harriet. <laughs> Nosy neighbors. You know, it's not bad enough that her father bugs me at the office, but he, he bugs me at home, too. I'll speak to the pest control man about him. Yeah. <laughs> I like your thinking, honey. Now, listen, do you need some help with dinner? Oh, thanks, honey, but you've had a long day at the office. I was talking about Vicky. Honey, you should use her more around the house to help out. You know, you know, you can program her to do anything. You can program her to, to, to vacuum, do the dishes, anything you want. No, it makes me uncomfortable taking advantage of a little girl that way. Joni, honey, she's not a little girl. She's a robot, an android, a mechanical device, just like your blender. My blender doesn't have big, soft brown eyes. <laughs> I'll see who that is. <clears throat> I've got it, Dad. See who it is first. Vicky, up Periscope. Up Periscope. <laughs> oh, no! Vicky, down Periscope. Down Periscope. Who is it, Jamie? It's Warren Enright, the biggest nerd in school. Nobody can stand him. He's dull, he's obnoxious, and he's got one really terrible drawback. What's that? He's very smart. <laughs> Jamie, I have something for you. No, Jamie, here. You have wrong place. This is sushi bar. <laughs> Jamie, that's not nice, and it's a terrible accent. Let him in. But if my friends find out, they'll never speak to me again. Yeah? Well, you don't need friends like that. Now, Vicki, uh, go into the kitchen. Uh, say to Joni, you want to help her. You want to help her? No, 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 no. You want to help her. You want to help her? No, no, no. You just go in the kitchen and say it, okay? Okie dokie, boss. <laughs> I taught her that. She can say okie dokie sahib, too. <laughs> Jamie, let him in and be nice to him. Oh, and, and, and keep him in here. I don't want him to see Vicky. Come on in. Thanks. Gee, it's really nice of you to let me in your house. Nobody else does. And don't mention it. <laughs> and I mean, don't mention it to anyone. Who would I tell? Nobody talks to me. <laughs> Hi, Warren. I'm, I'm Jamie's dad. It's really nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. I'm Warren Enright. Jamie's... I almost said friend, but that's not the right word, since all the kids ain't my guts. 
I'm sure that's not true. And, and Jamie doesn't hate your guts, do you, Jamie? I've never seen his guts. <laughs> but I'm sure they're very nice. <laughs> uh, you left your glove on the playground. I figured you wanted it, so I figured I'd bring it over. Good figuring. That was really thoughtful of you, Warren. Here, come on over here. Make yourself at home right on the couch here. Hey. Jamie, I'm sure you and Warren have a lot to talk about. <laughs> So, what do you want to talk about? Whatever. Oh, hey, I bought this great stamp for my stamp collection. You want to see it? Sure, sounds really exciting. It's in my knapsack. Uh, need some help? No, thanks. It's the only exercise I get. <laughs> Vicki, I'd like you to take these flowers and put them on the coffee table. And when you're finished, come back, okay? Okie dokie, boss. Vicky, please don't call me boss. Okie dokie, Sahib. <laughs> Just wait till you see the stamp. It's really old. It's gonna be a lot older by the time you get that off. <laughs> oh. There, got it. Vicky! Oh, what are you doing in here? Putting these on the table. Go back in the kitchen. When I finish with this as programmed, we'll go back in the kitchen right now. I must carry out previous input data command. <laughs> Gee, you're really into computer talk. Well, let's go, Warren. Is Vicky your sister? She's my cousin. Bye. She's the most beautiful girl I ever saw, and I think she likes me. Likes you? Yeah, she's known me for almost a whole minute. And she didn't insult me. She's the only girl who's ever done that. Uh, she doesn't really know you yet. <laughs> Can I come over and see her again? No way. Forget it. Vicky's not your type. Goodbye, Warren. Boy, you sure fooled him. The poor nerd thinks you're a real girl. The word nerd is not in my memory bank. Well, it should be. A nerd is the lowest form of life. And this nerd's got a crush on you. Crushing me will ruin my circuits. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean he likes you. The way boys sometimes like girls. It has to do with a bunch of mushy stuff like kissing and hugging. Yeah. <laughs> kissing and hugging. Yeah. <laughs> well, I guess you don't know about those things. See, this is a hug, nothing personal. And this is a kiss. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and when boys and girls like each other, they call each other by stupid names like honey buns. <laughs> honey buns. <laughs> and they bat their eyes at each other like this. <laughs> Vicky? Fast, like a tongue in an ice cream factory. <laughs> Honest, Dad, there's nothing to worry about with Warren. He didn't suspect a thing about Vicky. He thinks she's a real girl. That's great. That is terrific. You see, honey, that's the one concern I had. Can she pass for a human? Honey, that was a terrific dinner. Thank you. Oh, it's nothing special. Just a little something I've been whipping up since 8 o'clock this morning. <laughs> Honey, let Vicky do that. Vicky, take these dishes away. Oh, no, 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 Vicky. Uh, Ted, she helped me before. Vicky, you relax. <laughs> What's the matter with her? I guess that's a robot's way of relaxing. <laughs> I'll get it, Dad. Come on, Vicky. <laughs> You can straighten up, Vicky. I, I better see who that is. Uh, here. Up, Vicky. <laughs> oh, no. It's the incredible nerd again. Put me down, Vicky. Who is it, Jamie? The nerd again. What do you want, Warren? I brought this for Vicky. I'll make sure she gets it. Jamie, that is rude. Let him in. Twice in one day? Uh, he'll see Vicky. 
Yeah, well, if she fooled him once, she can fool him again. And it's a real good test for her. Come on, Vicky, sit here on the sofa. Hi. Come on in before somebody sees you. <laughs> Hi, Warren. How you doing? Hi, Mr. Lawson. Oh, yeah. All right, let me get that for you. There you go. <laughs> okay. Well, <clears throat> I will uh, leave you kids alone now. Have fun, okay? <clears throat> Who was it, Ted? Well, it's, it's Jamie's friend, Warren, but I, I think we better keep an eye on Vicky just in case. <laughs> Hi. Nice to see you again. Nice to see you again. This is for you. It's a real special flower. A real special flower? That's because it's the first flower I ever gave to a girl. I wasn't going to come back, but I had to see you because, because I really like you. I really like you. <laughs> <laughs> Gee, I like you very much. I like you very much, <laughs> honey bun. <laughs> went shopping and said to sit here and not touch anything. <laughs> they didn't mean it like that. You can relax now. Relax. <laughs> Jamie! Jamie! Oh, no, it's Warren again. Vicky, straighten up and get behind this door. Hurry. Behind the door. Hurry. Hi. What did I tell you at school today? Didn't I say not to come over here anymore? Jamie, I have to see Vicky. I love her. Cupid has shot a zero into my heart. <laughs> he missed your heart and hit your brain. <laughs> Vicky doesn't like you, Warren. Not that way. She can tell me that herself. Where is she? She went back home to Alaska. Just head north and turn right at the first igloo. <laughs> I don't believe you. Are you there? Honey buns? I'm here, honey buns. <laughs> Warren, you're wasting your time. Goodbye. Oh. I finally got rid of that pest. I'm still here, and I'll be here forever. <laughs> you wouldn't be hanging around if you treated him like real human girls do. If I treated him like real human girls do, it's against my gentle nature. But what I'm gonna do is program you to treat Warren like all the girls do. Got it? Got it. You understand all that, Vicky? My computers have processed the information. I hope that's good. <laughs> okay, Warren, come on in. Vicky wants to see you. See? You can't stop true love. <laughs> Would it be asking too much to leave Vicky and me alone? Yep, I figured. <laughs> Hi. Hi. I got this for you. I hope you don't mind. I ate a few pieces while I was waiting. <laughs> I got a heart-shaped box to show you how much I, I, I love you. Do you love me? 
Love ya. <laughs> well, you don't actually have to love me. With you, I'll settle for a nice, friendly insult. Warren, yak is an insult. Oh, good. <laughs> Vicky, would you like to hear a poem I wrote for you? Honey buns? You are blubber buns. <laughs> blubber buns? I get the feeling we're drifting apart. <laughs> You're an overstepped toad. <laughs> well, I never said it was good looking. <laughs> yeah, on you. I already said that. You're obnoxious and a pest. I know. I was hoping it was different with you. A nerd is the lowest form of life. I'm not even a good nerd. I know it was too good to last. <laughs> hey, Warren, don't cry. Come on, she's only a girl. Sort of. <laughs> Hi, kids. Hi. What's the matter? Why is Warren crying? Oh, I'm sorry. You'd think I'd be used to it by now. Used to what? Well, I thought Vicky liked me, but she's just like all the others. She called me an overstuffed toad. <laughs> what? I also called him Blubber Buns. <laughs> I think I'm getting the picture. Me too. Jamie in the kitchen on the double. You too, Vicky. Well, I'll be going. Oh, no, no, no. Wait, Warren. What for? My life is over. I thought you might like some milk and nice chocolate chip cookies. Well, I guess my life could be over a little later. <laughs> I'm sorry, Dad, but it was the only way I could figure out to get rid of Warren. Jamie, just because the other kids treat him that way, you don't have to. That's right, Jamie. Warren has feelings, too. How'd you like it if the other kids treated you that way? I guess I wouldn't. Kids can be so cruel uh, without even realizing it. Like making up a word like nerd. That's right. Now, would you believe when I was a kid, they considered me a nerd? Sure, Dad. <laughs> what do you mean, sure, Dad? <laughs> it's okay, honey. I got a thing for nerds. Oh. Here, honey, bring these into Warren and try to cheer him up, okay? Okay. Hi. Here, this will make you feel better. I hope so. I feel like that guy in the TV commercial who uses the wrong deodorant. <laughs> Don't feel that way, Warren. You smell good. <laughs> so what? Nobody wants to smell me. <laughs> Listen, I'm sorry, and I apologize if Vicky hurt your feelings. Yeah? Gee, I've never been apologized before. Well, I've been mean to you, and I've put you down a lot. I'm asking you to forgive me. Kids can be so cruel. <laughs> I know, I'm one of them. So, do you forgive me? Oh, sure. Does this mean you like me? Yeah. A lot? A lot. <laughs> A whole lot? A whole lot? <laughs> A whole, whole? Don't push your luck. <laughs> Okay, I'll take your word for it. You know, it was bound to happen with Vicky. She's too good for a guy like me. <laughs> Any girl is. <laughs> Listen, that's a bad attitude. You gotta start believing in yourself, Juan. Someday you'll find someone, I'm sure. But what girl in her right mind would ever like me? <laughs> Can Vicky come out, Aunt? Oh, wow. What a hunk. Hunk? Hi there, big fella. <laughs> Are you talking to me? Harriet, this is my friend Warren Enright. He's one of the most popular guys in class. <laughs> uh, no, I'm not. And he's modest, too. You won't find anyone who thinks less of himself than Warren. That's true. 
and Harriet of our delightfully charming neighbor. <laughs> Say something delightfully charming, Harriet. Baza. <laughs> I'll take it from here. Warren. <laughs> Absolutely amazing. <laughs> She's a small wonder, lovely and bright and soft curves. She's a small wonder, a child unlike other girls. She's a miracle. You, she'll enchant you at her sight. She's a small wonder, brings love.